A trio of hoax school shooting threats are no laughing matter for parents, administrators, or law enforcement. Investigators are working to pinpoint the source of the calls known as swatting, but the caller could be out of the country. Some frightened families are considering keeping their kids at home as the school week continues tomorrow. Action News reporter Nick Garcia is live at Clovis West High School in Northeast Fresno to explain how administrators are taking action to increase safety. Nick. Well, school administrators here, along with officials from the district, say they're working closely with law enforcement, local law enforcement, which is working with the FBI to investigate each threat seriously until they can be deemed not credible. It's full on panic. Parent Brandy Montgomery says getting an alert that Fort Washington Elementary was on lockdown Friday was her worst nightmare. The faces of those kids coming out on Friday afternoon and seeing some of them crying, that's something you just don't forget. The school has been put on lockdown three times since Friday due to swatting calls to local law enforcement agencies threatening a shooting at neighboring Clovis West High School. Each of those threats have been determined to not be credible, but police are still investigating the calls, which they believe are related and connected to a fake threat called into Costco over the weekend. If we can identify the individual and if there's a country outside the United States that um, that person resides in, that we'll still work with the FBI and other agencies to bring that person to justice. Fresno police say they believe the phone calls are coming from outside the country. Meanwhile, the district is working to keep students on track with their schoolwork, but say those who do not feel safe going to school because of the fake threats will be excused. Every single school day is important and the disruption that it causes is extremely significant when we have that lockdown moment. I'm really proud of our teachers and our staff here and at Fort Washington, as well as our students who have been able to recenter themselves after we get the all clear and return to that academic learning that is so important. Wednesday night, many parents taking in all the information from police and school leaders and evaluating how they'll handle the rest of the school week. I'm very aware that it could happen anywhere and I just pray every day, hug them a little tighter every day since those situations have happened throughout the years. You know, if the person or people responsible for making these swatting calls is found, they face or and arrested, they face felony charges, both state and federal ones, and could put them behind the excuse me, behind bars for up to three years. Live in Northeast Fresno, I'm Nick Garcia, ABC 30 Action News.